Hey guys, JD here, and we're looking at the brand new Yu-Gi-Oh set, The Secret Forces. A lot of people are looking forward to this set. It is jam-packed with power. The Necros cards are out of control. Tons of stuff that's going to change the meta for a long time. Now, this set is the spiritual successor to the Hidden Arsenal series, most of which weren't so good. Seven was outstanding. And from there, Dragons of Legend, great. This one's Fallen Dragons of Legend. It is just a power set. Tons of great cards. As you know, there's only two types of rares here. Super rares, secret rares. So we're going to crack this box. Hopefully we get some of the winners. You guys know which ones they are. So let's do this. Waste no time getting into this. So, as you have a few reprints, and then a few uh, updates to older cards, and then of course, you got the new Necros cards you're looking for. We're gonna go through the whole box and uh, let's see if we get lucky. All right, pack one out of the way. You have to admit, the art detail that uh, you guys put into the past uh, quite few sets is solid. They've definitely uh, upped their game. Uh, when you look at some of the older sets, it's uh, kind of embarrassing. But these, great looking cards. And of course, secret rares always look good. So what are you guys looking forward to? What kind of uh, cards are you looking forward to, uh, not in just this set, but in the coming sets, the new gold looks pretty strong. There, that's a card people are going to want. All right. A thousand hands for all decree. Oh, these Necros. See if you Come on. Decisive armor. All right. I don't know how these uh, you send you cards are going to go. Good. Something strong. Not bad. Not bad. It's a fun set to open. Good value. Uh, definitely one if you're looking to spend your money on and uh, looking to reinvest that money, buy some other cards, or just uh, up your deck. This is the kind of set for that. Not as chancy as other sets. Though, with low production value, uh, this set's going to be hot. Uh, hopefully, they do a reprint down the road. And there we are. There we are. Brionic. That's a winner. Let's get a Trishula. Let's make it nice. The two big cards of the set. Don't mind if I do. Vanity's emptiness makes this very nice. Don't have to chase a common anymore. Let's see. Let's see. What to do, what to do. I mean, it's great art, though. Let's see if it has long-lasting tournament impact in the short term, certainly. Very strong.
Alright. Two of those. Two of those. Come on, two shoes. Big money, big no whammies. Stop. Nope. Alright, three left. Make them count. Here we are, and... Nope. And then it was two. Hmm. Alright, here it is. Last pack. Survey says... Ah, kaleidoscope. Very good. Not a bad box at all, but honestly, I don't think this set has a bad box. There's just too much value in it. Too many good cards. And that's definitely one of them. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this look at the brand new set, The Secret Forces, and uh, I hope you guys get as lucky as I did in this box. Anyway, like, subscribe to see more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.